Hi guys, Dane here, and today we're going to be removing dragons from books. So you may have seen a little while ago that I did a video in which we added dragons to books. I will link to that below. And uh, Emma Rosen Books commented on it saying, You should do one removing dragons from books. And it seemed like a good idea, so we're going to have a go at it. So, without further ado, I have ten books here, and we're going to discuss what they might be like without the dragons. Now, I must admit, I did struggle a little bit to find these ten books, but we'll, we'll pull it off. So, here we have Stieg Larsson, the girl with the dragon tattoo. So, obviously, this would just be the girl with the tattoo. I don't think it would change too much, because the dragon tattoo doesn't actually, like play into the story too much, at least as far as I remember. So if she had just some like Chinese lettering there, or um, I don't know, like an Illuminati symbol, or a vegetarian V, or like some just some lyrics, maybe, maybe the quote from June, fear is the mind killer, I want to get that as a tattoo. You know, she, she could have that, that as a tattoo. And the book would be the same, I guess. Well, that's a good start. All right, number two. Let's just go in randomly. What we got here? What's this? Sagard the Barbarian. This would be... Well, this is called the Ice Dragon, but it would just be the Ice... I don't know. Well, I guess you'd have to replace it with something else. That's not a dragon. You, they could just call it the Ice Troll thing. This is a, a game book where you, like... You, here's the Ice Golem. Where the hell was the ice dragon in this? It's like a game book where you flick through and the pages tell you where to go. Which is why it makes it very difficult to actually find where the ice dragon is. Because it won't be in at the end. Oh, hang on. Go to section 100. I can't even find the ice dragon in here. So maybe, maybe I imagined that. Even though it is called the ice dragon. What is this video? <laughs> I hope you're happy, Emma Rosen. I hope you're happy. This is what I have sunk to. Yeah, the the ice. This is by Gary Gygax, who uh, who did Dungeons and Dragons as well, who created it. All right, book number three. We have one that you're probably familiar with. This even has a dragon on the cover. This is J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So in this, I guess the 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 first task in the Tri Wizard tournament, you just have to go and get some eggs. There wouldn't be anything to stop you. There'd just be there'd just be some eggs. It'd be really boring. It'd be like an egg and spoon race or something. Obviously, George R. R. Martin here, A Dance with Dragons. This would just become a dance. I don't see any problem with that. I mean, I don't know. What would Daenerys have, though? She'd have to have some three of something instead of three dragons. Just like three alligators. We'll leave George R. R. Martin to decide that one. This one doesn't even have a cover. I don't know what happened to this. But this is The Eyes of the Dragon by Stephen King. So, again, I guess this would just become The Eyes. I mean, the plot in this is that the little kid sees something through the eyes of the dragon. And, well, there is, you can see through the, it's like those old, I, in fact, I probably shouldn't say any more of this because I accidentally got the, uh, I, I, I got the actual plot of it wrong, but I don't want to reveal the plot because that would be a bit of a spoiler. But, um, I mean, yeah, the, the dragon could be replaced by any other large animal. All right, what we got here? How to Train Your Dragon by Cressida Cowell. So we always say that Biggie looks a lot like Toothless. So I guess this would just become How to Train Your Cat. And you'd still have Hiccup, the horrendous Haddock the Third or whatever. I don't know don't know what he is. But uh Yeah, I don't know how they would like get around because there's no way that Biggie would give me a piggyback, so Aha! The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So this would be the novel in which the uh, the dwarves and Gandalf go to uh, the Shire to to recruit a hobbit called Bilbo Baggins to be a burglar for them because they have to go and reclaim all of this unguarded treasure pile beneath the mountain that for some reason nobody has thought of trying to get. And then there's like a big battle at the end because everyone's like, oh, I didn't realise there was gold there because... I don't know. How is this video going? You want another one of these videos? <laughs> okay, here we have Terry Pratchett, a Discworld novel, Guards, Guards. And, I mean, this is basically about 
these monks that want to change the change what's going on in the uh, political system in Ang Morpork. So they release a dragon, but without a dragon, I don't know. I guess they'd have to resort to like self-immolation, which you know, no one wants to watch these people burn to death. Here we have Yoshiko and the Gift of Charms by Julia Suzuki. Now, in this book, basically a young dragon called Yoshiko is a little bit different, and he gets bullied by the other dragons. So if we remove the dragons from this book, this is basically just... It's basically Simon versus the Homo Sapiens agenda, isn't it? And then we have The Dragon's Dagger by R.A. Salvatore, which would just become the dagger, I guess. <laughs> what was even the plot of this? He, he beat a dragon, and the dragon went away, and then he was like, the dragon came back because he accidentally stole a dagger, I believe. And this is about a guy from our world who goes into this other world, this other fairy world. So, I guess he just goes to put the dagger back. He accidentally stole it from a shop or something. I don't know. Did this video work? I will find out in editing, I guess. Uh... But we tried! So anyway, thanks a lot to Emma Rosen Books for the suggestion. Let me know in the comments if you thought this worked, and if so, if you want me to try unicorns? I don't know, I guess we'll see. And in the meantime, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.